Izmir, Turkey, my favorite city in Turkey. While I love the city, there is one problem that I faced. It's the fashion competition here. Let me tell you something. In Izmir, everyone looks nice. If you don't look nice, you stand out like a sore thumb and you can't just wear some American Eagle jeans and expect to get the job done. So this video is gonna be about me completely revitalizing my wardrobe and making myself look as Turkish as possible, like a Turkish male, because I know that's a little bit up in the air. <laughs> Before we actually get started, it's important to realize where we're at. This is a self-reflection phase of fashion and everyone should know where they're at. So let's let's take a look at my outfit. So right now I would say I'm about maybe a, a seven out of 10 in terms of full on fashion. I got the jacket, uh, the, the holes in the jeans. Wait, hold on. You gotta get the, you gotta get the cuff, because that, that adds points. So everyone knows that if you cuff your jeans, that probably adds about like an extra 0.5 on the, the, the scale. So right now with the cuff jeans, the jacket, everything, like the, the whole ensemble is probably a 7.5 out of 10. It's not great, but we all know why we're here. It's not to get C average. It's to get 150% A plus bonus credit. And that's what we're here to do, all right? Let's, let's look as Turkish as possible. Let's look as great as possible. Let's do this the right way, all right? So the way we're gonna do this is starting from top down. Without sunglasses, you can't look like a very fashionable Turkish male. So we're gonna go to Kemeralta, and it's pretty much a bizarre place that you can get stuff like sunglasses. Um, necklaces, shoes, fake Yeezys if you really want some. So the next step, sunglasses. <laughs> As soon as I see something that's catching my eye, then I'll go there. So I met some guys here, and this is what I'm talking about with Turkish fashion. Look at this guy right here. This guy has very, very good fashion. So does this guy. This is, he has really good style. He just said that he had really good style, and I agree with him. Right, this is what I'm talking about. It's a full shop of sunglasses. So his sunglass shop didn't have any Ray-Bans. He said upstairs are where the Ray-Bans are. So this is the sunglass shop that they told me upstairs. Ooh, I hit my head. Apparently they have Ray-Bans here. Here, I think I'm gonna buy something. So we'll see, we'll try some stuff on. So these are the Ray-Bans. I like this one. This is the one that I was looking for. This is the one that's gonna fit me the best. I think it looks nice. So th this is the Levi's one, which... What is it? 300 lira, which is around, I would say... You're a fucking idiot. This one's 175 lira, which is cheaper than the other one. So, my three options. I have Ray-Bans at around 600 lira, the Levi's around 300 lira, and then these, which are 175 lira. I can't tell if they're real or fake. I'm not sure what they are. Um, we'll see what we can get. Right now I like these a lot, but they're not black. So we'll see if we can try to get some black ones. But the lowest that I got was 100 lira for one of the sunglasses in the back. All black. Ones that I like. Actually, let me show you. These are 100 lira, which I'll show you what these look like. And these are 100 lira, which is a really good price. They're not Ray-Bans, but they look like Ray-Bans, and uh, the Ray-Bans are a little bit more expensive, like 600, 700 lira. I really don't want to spend that much on a pair of sunglasses. These get the job done, they're stylish, and I might get these. I want to look around some more. If I can't find anything, I'm gonna get these bad boys right here. So the guy was really nice. Um, the sunglasses were, were really good. If I can't find any better ones, I'm gonna go back to him and get those sunglasses for 100 lira, and uh, we'll call it, put the sunglasses there. I found another shop here with all Ray-Bans and these are going for 30 Liras, 30 Lira. I can already feel the, the Turkishness. Look. These are pretty good, 30 Lira is not bad. That's a really good price for for these sunglasses, so that's what I think I'm gonna do. You can ask. Right, so these were copped for about 30 Lira, which is about five bucks in USD. Pretty good deal. Uh, I look like a Turkish Casey Neistat now, so I think we're on to the next step. 
The next area we're gonna go to is Forum Bornova, which is more of a organized shopping mall as opposed to kind of like the bazaar here. Um, and that's where I'm gonna do my clothing shopping. I tried going to Forum Bornova on the same day and unfortunately when I got there, um, the security was all over me. They said no filming, no video. They distinctly said no, no, no. So I can't go there and record. What I thought I'd do instead was go back to the place that I got my sunglasses and my necklace from and then do the whole shopping experience there. I think it's a little bit more interesting. The other place was more designed as like an, an outdoor mall. There's less bazaar, there's less like salesmen, but I think there's a specific character in Kemeralta, which is the place that I went earlier in the video. Uh, and now I'm gonna go there and get the rest of my outfit. I have the sunglasses, I have the hair, but I don't have the fit. I'm still wearing a regular t-shirt. So let's make myself look pretty. Uh, the first thing that I really want is a jacket and determined to get the sexiest looking jacket I can. Let's see what we can find. I saw this shop and this style looks like something that I would wear. So I'm going to shop in here. I'm gonna see if I can find a jacket. Maybe like that one right there. We'll take a look inside. We'll see what we can find. I don't know how I feel about this one. Look at look at those bad boys right there. Mm -hmm. It's popping. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. I like this one a lot. You're not supposed to button it at all, I guess. But uh, I like the sleeves. I like the way it fits on my body. So we're gonna go with this one. Mm -hmm. This guy's taking me to another shop of his. Apparently, he has T-shirts here. So we'll see where he's taking me. First, souvenirs. Souvenirs here. Inside, t-shirt, shirt, everything. T-shirt and shirts in here. Can I try? Turkish tea, apple tea, coffee. He's gonna try to match the jacket with a shirt. I think the blue doesn't match with the other blue. I think it needs to be a different color inside. You know why? Because I give little bits make shiny you know if i do same color it doesn't combination it's the complex but it is not uh, sweet you know yeah, yeah it's a normal jacket if you want i have something i want i want the i want the inside to pop to make me look extra turkish and nice no no like a different color like this huh for example like maybe white or maybe like a different color like a okay now we're in uh, brand territory. We have this whole shop to explore. I think we have to try the Gucci on. That's for ladies. Oh, it's for ladies? I think it fits well. Um, I must say that the shirts here are a little bit more snug than the ones in America, but um, I think it fits the body type a little bit better. I like it. Let's see what it looks like with the jacket. And it looks nice. I think I might get one shirt and then one just like actual like button down, just to stylize a little bit. He said this one is 80 lira, which I have a feeling it's a little bit pricier than what I'm getting. I'm gonna see if I can get it down to maybe like 60. 60 lira I think is fair. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take it for 70. Bro, please give me for 80. Yeah. No, sorry. please. <laughs> give me your hand. Give me your hand. 70. All right. You right for 70? 70. Okay, give me okay, 70, 70, bro. Give All me right. 70. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, bro. Gave it for 70. I got a 10 lira discount. 70 lira, which is and about. You, you, you win a tea, man. You have a tea here. Turkish tea. That's your. That's our offer for you. Turkish hospitality. I, I have a camera. I'll, I'll drink it. Hey. Uh, we, we put that there. <laughs> okay. Do okay. you want to sugar some? Mm, sure. Sure. Yeah. Do two. This is. Turkish delight, Turkish tea, you know, but it's a little bit cold right now. It's okay. I'll drink cold yeah, tea. Yeah, it's also See, good. you can't you can't get this amount of hospitality in America. They don't they don't give tea in America. They give you uh, coffee. 
or cents? No, they give you bills. They bills? give you, yeah. What was your name? Jimmy. Jimmy. Nice Matt, right? Uh, he's been a terrific help, and uh, he got me a jacket and shirt, and at a good price, so thank you to Jimmy. Welcome. Hello to America. <laughs> Hello you. to America. Thank you again. Have, Have a good day. Have a good day. Right, so I got a lot of help from Jimmy, and we have the jacket, we have the shirt, and I think that we'll call it there with the upper stuff, and then we'll go on to jeans and shoes. All right, so I came at this shop right here. I'm gonna see inside what we have in store. They so picked these out for me, which they look kind of nice. We'll see, we'll try them on. All right, so we tried this on. I must say, I like the, the style, but the fit might be a little bit too loose for me. Definitely a lot easier to shop for jeans here than America, because it's kind of hard to find jeans, but he knew exactly what I'd like. I like the design, maybe it's not, maybe I prefer some more holes, but other than that. He didn't, he didn't want to be on camera, but yeah. he's going to take me to a, a tailor and adjust the, the little like legs right here, because I told him I wanted it a little bit tighter. So yeah. that's where we're gonna go to right now. He's gonna take me there. So we're gonna do about a centimeter off from the sides. So what's interesting to me is that when you buy jeans here, you can ask the guy to take you to a tailor shop and get it specifically tailored to what your what your sizes are. And that's what he's doing right now. This is a separate shop. So this is a, a separate tailor shop that he took me to. All right, the jeans were copped for about 200 lira. That's done. Shoes, and that's about it. All right, I'm in the shoe shop right here. I think I'm gonna go with these right here. I'm gonna try these on. You have to be kind of careful because these all don't look 100% like real. Um, some of them are better than others, but ones like these where you can't really tell how fake they are, those are pretty good. Most of these, I would say that I wouldn't be able to tell from a faraway glance that they're not exactly real. But like, for example, this one right here, that one wouldn't work, but everything else would work. So this one, you can't really tell. It's classic. I'm going with a white vibe right here. It's like Nike. They don't look that bad. They look pretty real. You can't tell, I, I think they're, they're good to go. All right, we're done with a full day of shopping. Everything is completed. We got the sunglasses, we got the jacket, we got the t-shirt, we got everything. We got the jeans and we got the shoes. We got a full outfit, but we're done. I don't know how much I total, I, t I spent total here, maybe under a hundred dollars, I want to say. For a full outfit in the US, I think it's definitely a lot more considering the fact that a lot of the stuff that I bought is imitation and, and not real, but hey, unless I tell you, which I did, then you won't ever figure it out. One eternity later. The full-on Turkish fits. I got the I got the white shoes that are dirty because it's been two months since I filmed this. Uh, the jackets. And, uh, oh, I forgot the most important part. <laughs> Right, so this whole outfit was about $100 if I did the math right. And uh, now I look like a Turkish male. Um, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the fit. And uh, thank you for watching the video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And um, thanks.